I thought that my Erasmus Mundus experience will be better. In today's video I would like to tell you my honest opinion about Erasmus Mundus program, about the partner universities and in general I would like to tell you some downsides and some disappointments about the program. First of all I would like to just mention that I started studying in 2021 when the world was still in the pandemic the world was full of restrictions and full of the fear and not knowing uh, what is gonna happen in the upcoming weeks and months. So this was definitely a big factor which influenced my Erasmus Mundus experience. However, there were other factors which, in my opinion, weren't that much related to the pandemic and COVID. I would like to also mention at the beginning that I am forever and I will be forever grateful for the opportunity to study Erasmus Mundus program. I am super happy for my colleagues, for the professors I've met, for the overall experience and also of course for the amazing Fulbright scholarship which has allowed me to study in three different foreign universities which I would not be able to uh, fund myself because the tuition fees are very high. So I am very, very happy for the program. It's super cool, but there are still some downsides which no one really talks about. So I want to be honest and I want to give you my honest feedback. I need to mention that this is just my honest personal opinion. If you probably ask my uh, colleagues, they might have a different point of view. We all perceive things very differently. So just um, take it as, as an opinion but whenever you accept it or not, this is just up to you. The first thing which really has annoyed me and not only me, but my other colleagues as well, we even wrote a paper and we even wrote to the professors of the cohort about this issue. And it was that, especially at one, one university, we were given a lot of essays, a lot of assignments at once. And this firstly was not so, um, fortunate because we were doing during the last two during the first two months we had no homeworks no essays and then all it came at once even though we asked to, to receive the essays topics beforehand but we weren't given those topics and then when we wrote this in between three or six weeks we didn't receive any feedback we received some grades no one failed but still, if you write something, if you dedicate your time, your days and months to something and then you receive just no matter if it's B, C, D, E or F, but you want to know the feedback, you know, you want to know or at least I guess this is how we get better if we get the feedback and then we know what we have done uh, incorrectly, where were the mistakes and we can we are not going to repeat it again. This happened in uh, the first year, so actually it was really important for us to know where, um, what did we do wrong? And therefore, in my opinion, if we are in the education sector, getting feedbacks and constantly improving is extremely important. And I was very disappointed about it. As you know me, probably, I don't really care about the grades. I, I'm as happy if I get A and if I get C, but, I want to know at least the feedback what what's wrong or what was wrong with my project or what with my essay. The other thing I am not really particularly happy is the lack of professional connections. I give you an example when I was in my undergraduate program the university very often organized some meetups some events with professors or with people from the industry or with the the graduates with alumni from the university and we had amazing place to ask questions and also to make some connections and probably in the future having easier uh, way or easier and op more opportunities to, to receive some job or uh, potential clients. And again, I know there was a pandemic, but I don't really feel this um, the support from the university. I know that my program now is divided into two. One part is in Portugal, one part is in Sweden. All is online, but I still, I am still lacking this quite a lot. And of course, there are some incentives. There are some free calls, especially from the University of Glasgow, where we can assign. And there is like a board of, of jobs, but it's nothing really that personal. 
but this might be because the universities we are studying at are actually very very big and perhaps that's the reason why we don't get so much personal treatment or personal approach another thing which was very stressful and which was really energy draining for me was the constant rescheduling now again i understand if there was a pandemic and there were some government restrictions which the university could not really anticipate but again there were some rescheduling uh, not related to um, the pandemic this would be still fine but we were obliged to attend all classes we were we, we could miss just few for a very very limited number of classes and what they did they sometimes reschedule a class let's say from monday and they said they, the class will be on thursday and you have to come uh, if the class would be recorded or if there would be some option a or b i would understand like at least they gave us some options but in my opinion master students should work already not for the financial thing so only but also for the experience and if this as a student you're trying to juggle work and university and some of the students also have families they have kids then juggling all these three things while university is not really helping to you and it is rescheduling it and saying you just must attend this was really stressful for me and not professional and i found it kind of disrespectful another thing um, which uh, was very similar to the feedback thing was the minimal interaction we sometimes had classes which were two hours long and the professor would be just speaking 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 without asking us about our opinion and without without um, any interaction again i think Again, this is maybe just my expectations that master students already have the experience, but they want to get deeper. They want to be able to negotiate, to be able to debate. And very often we just had classes which didn't even need to be, you know, I don't study math, I don't study physics. We study tourism and culture development, which is like a mix of business and social science and history. So very often there were some topics which need some debate which need some different points of view from different uh, cultures and perspective and the professor was just reading the slides or was just reading what was written in the presentation and it was really not um, that much educative in my opinion again it might be that i have really high expectation in some universities, I know this is very common in many institutions that the professor is just reading something, but I I had the expectation a little bit different. In the third semester, um, we actually, the Swedish university was actually very much supportive in in sense of uh, debating. We were organizing a little groups or pairs, and then we had to debate and we have to um, question the, the project of the others so this was actually really really nice in the swedish university i don't want to mention exactly the university which one was it but maybe you you might you might uh, um, conclude which probably university was it again this does not reflect the university itself definitely not it just reflects some specific uh, teachers and some specific professors again i'm not in the position to say what is good and what is bad it's just my opinion and my expectations which weren't met last but not least i was really unhappy about the online attendance as i mentioned it was corona it was pandemic but then in the semester the third semester there were not governmental restrictions in Sweden and we still were spending like 90% uh, of the classes online which would be still okay, I would understand but then for a limited number of classes we were going to campus which that doesn't make any sense if uh, either you're online or you're offline but nothing like in between because this, I don't know, it, to me it felt kind of uh, sad and this is the last point I felt quite lonely. I felt maybe more lonely than than ever because it was like so many essays writing but you don't really see the professors, you don't feel the vibe. 
uh, at the moment I'm writing the thesis and it's kind of similar thing it's very difficult for me to write it because I don't see my classmates I don't see the university I don't have this feeling of being at the campus and it's sometimes uh, losing the sense like why am I doing it um, and not being able to attend the extracurriculum activities so I feel this this has been some points which I was not really happy about the Erasmus Mendes again I'm mentioning if something was not a good according to my opinion people might have different points of view this is just my very honest feedback and I don't want to offend anyone this is definitely definitely not the intention I will mention it one more time I'm forever grateful to be part of the Erasmus Mendes Erasmus Mendes program and all this opportunity it's really really nice uh, I'm very curious what do you think about my honest feedback was it surprising and was it shocking what what you didn't expect let me know in the comment I'm very curious thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe this channel and see you in the next video guys bye bye